I've drunk this healing tea every morning and my creatinine dropped by 5.75 in just 5 weeks. I'm no longer risking dialysis. Hello guys, very special video today. This is the true story of a chronic kidney disease patient. His name is Scott and he was able to avoid dialysis. Here's what he says. Just wanted to share my huge win with you because your videos changed my life. I've lowered my creatinine by 5.75 points just by embarking in four of the good habits you talk about in your videos. And I also had to stop following my doctor's order on... Okay, more about this later. And now I'm not risking the dialysis anymore. And guys, there is a lot more about Scott's journey I want to show you as we also exchange emails. Yes, today I will tell you exactly what he did to avoid dialysis and how these four good habits can help you too. Scott suffers from chronic kidney disease stage 4, high blood pressure and high cholesterol levels. He really turned his life around with the good habits I want to show you today. And don't miss a second of this video. I also want to show you a very, very dangerous yet common way many patients, including Scott, are damaging their kidneys. So don't miss that part. And the very first good habit Scott started to repair his kidney is drinking this powerful kidney healing tea. This is a beverage with truly incredible healing properties it can control your blood pressure better than anything else in the world and it can even lower your creatinine levels according to science. Number 4. Garlic and Ginger Tea This is a 100% natural tea made from ingredients you can easily find at any grocery shop or that maybe you already have in your pantry. And yet, the healing properties it boasts are so powerful, you will be able to see the results on your health in a matter of days. This is what Scott says about it. I noticed something the first few days on the tea that felt rather like a bit of mental change. I felt a mild interest in life. One Sunday morning, I invited my kids to brunch. That was unheard of before because I didn't have that energy to be interested in company, let alone actually go to brunch. I even commented on it to my kids. I am 65. They are in their 30s with kids of their own. Thank you for sharing this with us. It's amazing what these good habits can do to your health. Guys, do you want to see how to make this powerful tea? First ingredient is garlic. And you want to use fresh garlic for this recipe and to mince it about 5 minutes before starting to prepare the tea. Let's put it in a medium saucepan. I always recommend to add garlic to everyone's diet for its many kidney healing benefits. It can lower your blood pressure by 11 over 5 millimeters of mercury and when mixed with lemon, it will even be able to lower your cholesterol levels. Yes, if there's one food that's really going to repair your kidneys, it's garlic. And Scott witnessed these effects in first person. So you really want to mince four cloves of fresh garlic five minutes before adding water in order to activate its healing properties. Next ingredient, fresh ginger. We need a small piece, just about this size. This is around three or four grams. Ginger will make the taste of garlic less noticeable and will also protect your kidneys. Ginger fights high blood sugar levels, great for diabetics, and will help with nausea and indigestion. Not to mention that it's a natural diuretic. Now we need three fresh lemons. Let's choose them very quickly. First, roll them over the counter firmly, then cut and squeeze them directly in our saucepan. Now guys, none of these ingredients are here by chance. 
Lemon is one of the most alkalizing foods on earth and it's also a powerful kidney detoxifier. Last ingredient is cinnamon. Great for those with diabetes. This spice has the confirmed property of improving insulin sensitivity. And last, let's add some water and bring it to a slow boil. Our tea is ready! Drink it during the day to maximize the benefits! Yes, this is a very easy and powerful recipe and you can get incredible benefits from it if you want to turn it into a healthy morning habit. The next remedy that Scott is using is something scientists are starting to consider a miracle molecule for kidney health. Supplementing it has been shown to lower creatinine dramatically in patients in stage 4 and 5 of chronic kidney disease. This is why I'm not surprised at all about the results Scott is having with it. I'm talking about number 3, CoQ10. Yes, when Scott wrote me about the miraculous benefits of CoQ10, I wasn't surprised at all. This vitamin-like molecule was proven extremely beneficial for people with kidney problems, especially those in the advanced stages. This is because a plethora of health conditions, including heart disease, brain disorders, diabetes, and cancer, have all been linked to low levels of CoQ10. This molecule is crucial for the health of your kidneys. There are studies showing that supplementing CoQ10 can have dramatic effects on the creatinine levels of patients in stage 4 and 5 of chronic kidney disease. Not to mention that this molecule can bring down blood pressure by up to 17 over 10 millimeters of mercury. Isn't that amazing? Here's what Scott says about taking CoQ10. This is the remedy with the most noticeable effect for my pain. I was in constant muscle pain and my doctor wasn't able to explain why. Turns out, it was the statin I'm taking. CoQ10 stopped the pain in just a few days. Amazing! He got especially great results from this remedy because he had high cholesterol levels. So, what is the correct dose for CoQ10? In most studies, dosage of CoQ10 range from 30 mg to 200 mg administered over periods of 4 to 12 weeks. And taking 60 mg 3 times daily of CoQ10 seems to be the most effective way. Since CoQ10 is fat soluble, it's good to take it with foods so it has a better absorption rate. Now guys, if you want to take CoQ10 for your kidney health, which is something I recommend, there is one thing you have to keep in mind. If you have high cholesterol levels or if you are taking statins, Lipitor, Altaprev, Lescol and more, you should really pay attention to this remedy. I've explained why in my video up here. But don't go away yet! I also want to show you one thing Scott discovered about the medication his doctor prescribed him for high blood pressure. Yes, there is one thing you should be very, very careful with if you are suffering from high blood pressure. Number two, one thing to avoid, taking the wrong blood pressure medication. Here's what Scott says about this. One of your videos shocked me. I was taking a medication known for causing damage to the kidneys. I still can't believe my doctor got this wrong. And it's true, guys. Scott was taking Tenorbin, a beta blocker. This is a really suboptimal choice to manage blood pressure in people with kidney disease. So be careful with what medication you are taking. Do your own research and question your doctor. If you take a blood pressure lowering medication, get your doctor to prescribe you angiotensin receptor blockers or ARBs in short. Because while all blood pressure medications well, work to lower blood pressure, ARBs including Losartan, Telmisartan and more are the most powerful type of medications when it comes to protecting the kidneys. These blood pressure medications can fight proteinuria, a cause of kidney damage, much better than the beta blockers Scott was taking. 
Now guys, I've talked more in depth about this in my recent video. It's up here if you want to know more. But don't go away now as I have yet to show you the number one most powerful good habit to stop kidney disease progression. Here's what Scott says about this. When I watched your video about this treatment, I started to look for a new kidney doctor. I cannot believe that I was still eating this and that it was damaging my kidneys day in, day out. My life changed when I found a doctor that was able to turn my diet into therapy. Number one is the VLPD treatment. This is a dietary approach that can really restore the health of your kidneys. The VLPD or very low protein diet is a special diet for people with advanced kidney disease. It's incredibly useful for those patients that want to avoid dialysis completely. The VLPD treatment has been used on thousands of CKD patients and science has pretty solid data on it. In two words, it works! It's still not very common in many parts of the world, including the US, and this is probably why Scott's doctor never prescribed it to him. But where it's used, including Italy, the VLPD is showing impressive results, even in patients in stage 4 and 5 pre-dialysis. I've met people who have been in stage 4 for 20 years without significant deterioration of their kidney function, thanks to the VLPD. And that's impressive! Now guys, the very low protein treatment is a very big topic and I've made a whole video about it. It's up here if you want to watch it. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.